Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Yesterday I ran across an old tape that I had from March 5th, 1977. I recorded an hour of a morning talk show that went on on WMAL called The Harden and Weaver Show. A couple of older men that discussed various things. They, they, they goofed around. Uh, they were funny. They, they, play, they played music as well. And it was Frank Harden and Jackson Weaver. And I have a photograph of them. This is the best one I could I could find. I, it's not the best quality, but the man with the glasses is Frank Harden, and next to him is Jackson Weaver. Frank Harden was more of a straight man. Jackson Weaver did a variety of voice imitations. He he would do the old, an old lady's voice a lot of times. Old, older older man's voice. He he, he did various various voices. Um, in the 1950s, when television was headed for extinction, at least that's what they what they thought, but by the replacement of TV, Harden teamed up with announcer Jackson Weaver to create a 15-minute evening slot titled The Frank and Jackson Show, loosely modeled after Boston's popular Bob and Ray show. This uh, information I, I obtained from Wikipedia, so I'm, I'm reading a, a few bit, bits, bits from it. In 1960, the general manager, Andy Ockershausen, offered them a time slot from 6 to 10 morning drive time. That was a coveted time that radio announcers wanted. By the mid-1960s, Harden and Weaver owned the mornings. The show lasted for over 32 years. Then a little quote from Wikipedia, they mixed goofball comedy with music, guest interviews, news, and useful information. They delivered commercial strips with the off-the-cuff banter and ad-libs and innovation in radio advertising. They also in in included a musical hymn and March him every day at precisely the same time. The co-host read letters from listeners, took on-air phone calls, and hosted occasional unscheduled events. Although they discussed New Year's events, they never discussed how they, how they, where they stood politically. In a classic, in a classic comedy mode, Harden was the easygoing straight man whose comments prompted Weaver's comic antics based on reoccurring repertoire of characters each with a distinct accent and vocal tone like the, like the old lady that Jackson Weaver did. Their characters became part of the daily conversation in offices, schools, and shops. When the WMAL duo made fun of the kitchen help at Sam Wong's Moon Place res restaurant on Wisconsin Avenue Northwest, business there soared, and the owner became a regular celebrity after, after Harden and Weaver started putting the Eastern High School choir on the air to, to sing each... Christmas season, it gained a following and reputation that persists three decades later. Harden, Harden and his co-host made literally thousands of appearances at various comedy, community, social, and civic events. Harden and Weaver used their celebrity to raise funds for community organizations, most notably the Children's Medi National Medical Center, widely called Children's Hospital. Guests, regular callers, and self-identified listeners to the Harden and Weaver show included President Gerald Ford, dozens of congressmen, Supreme Court Justice William O. Douglas, Air Force General Curtis LeMay, radio legend Paul Harvey, talk show host David Frost, singer Jimmy Dean, boxer Muhammad Ali, Washington Redskins quarterback Sonny Jurgensen, and coach George Allen. They're, they, they are successful because they are themselves. That was a quote from um, Bullock Willard Scott. They are real and honest with themselves and their audience. The audience senses that and responds. After Jackson Weaver's death in 1992, Frank continued doing the show with co-hosts Tim Brandt and Andy Parks. The, the Harden, Brandt, and Parks show ranked at near the top of the ratings for five more years. That's, I believe that was about the time that um, Frank Harden retired from radio. I was, I was reading some stuff about him. He, he's actually actually still around. He's in his, his um, early 90s right now. He, he lives. He spends his time living between Washington D.C. and Sweden, and with his second wife, and he, he has um, five grown children. For what I was reading in his, in his biography, but a little information on Harden and Weaver. My uh, mother used to have that show on early in the mornings from getting ready for school, and and it, uh, it was it was int it was interesting listening to those two those two men, like you know, like the, what I was reading. Harden being the straight man, Jackson being the being the goof, goof, goofy man doing all the voices and everything. It, it was it was an entertaining radio show, and the songs that they sang were were not 
they were different. There were different types. Or, I mean, the songs that they played were different types of, of of songs. You might hear one from the 1940s, and you might hear one sung by Elizabeth Olivia Newton John. I mean, it was uh, there was no um, no real consistency to, to what you know types of songs they play. With different a variety of diff different types of songs, and but you know like like I was reading before, they they always had the the March song at seven thirty seven thirty five a.m. I believe that was when that when that thing was played. But always always interesting to hear what March song they were going to do each day. They and um, Jackson Weaver would do that uh, voice of, of they'd, Frank Carvin would say, "Senator, are you ready to march?" and and um, Jackson Weaver would do one of his voice imitations and pretend to be a, a senator. But a little little information on Harden Weaver and. I always enjoyed listening to the show when I was young. Thanks for watching.